KC's Audio Vault. Part of the River City Rocks Class of 2011 in transformation. We talk June 15th, 2011. Like, I don't know if you guys actually had an actual legit copy of End of Creation or not. I don't think or if you we pulled did. it off of uh, Supernova or whatever. Very nice. Okay, well, welcome. Congratulations. Thanks. Thank in you. transformation, hanging out with us. Maybe a quick uh, introduction. Yeah, I'm Dave. Uh, vocals and everything else. <laughs> I'm Gary. I play drums. <laughs> And two guys that aren't here is Ken and Kevin. One Ken's our bass player and Kevin's our guitarist. Well, you made it into the River City Rocks class of 2011, so big congratulations there. Thank, Thank you. Awesome. And uh, we're going to be hooking you up with a gift certificate for Quest Music. There's a, a membership for everyone in the band to manage open music. And uh, we're going to be playing the single End of Creation all summer, and we're going to present one of your concerts. That's awesome. So you give Thank us uh, maybe a little heads up later this year, and sure, we'll yeah. uh, give you seven days and get try and get you a full house. That'd, That'd be working. No problem. That'd be awesome. Uh, a lot of bands use it as a, a CD release show, but I guess End of Creation, the album, is already out. It was late last summer uh, you last, guys released yeah, it? Last, uh, last summer we kind of released it online through uh, Dirtbag Records and uh, like 80% of all digital downloads. You can get it Amazon, Napster, iTunes, everywhere. So yeah, never really physically released it like a CD. Yet. And we were <laughs> going to do it this year, but uh, we were just waiting. It seems to be going well this way. So Good. we're already focusing on the next album. So it's, we'll see where it goes. A lot of times it seems that uh, most people just have it on the iPod. Yeah, the times the are changing. CDs aren't what they used to be 10 years ago where it was like, wow, if you're a local band and you had a CD, it was like, hey, you were one of the first because people were still using cassettes 10 years ago. And That's now okay. it's kind of like, hey, I got, a, I got a little digital stick here. It's that, you know, so. And a little bit tougher crowd. Now, I think we're just giving away like candy to just to get people to listen to it, you know, and, and try to, you know, build a fan base that way. And exactly. it's worked well for us, you know. And then maybe if they're coming to your show, you can get some money at the door. You can sell them one of your t-shirts that yeah. you dropped off for us here. Yeah, those are actually really cool done. Uh, Dirtbag hooked us up with those. The artwork was done by a guy named Carl Lyons. He's uh, done work with uh, PlayStation, uh, nice. Assassin's Creed and stuff like that. And uh, you do like Disney stuff too? He's done some Pixar, Lucasfilm, yep. Good wow friend. yeah they're very that's neat animation it's on it for out sure. there anyway it's a little bit out there but you know one of a kind we won't be getting any more like that so give them away one for, fist one for yourself <laughs> <laughs> well thanks uh how long have you guys been around because the name i'm sure rings a few bells around the city well we started what 2006 um it's been a revolving door of musicians it's been myself and gary for a long time and then kevin uh our guitarist about what 2006, 2006 when mm -hmm. we really started in transformation and uh We've had a few bass players, a few different guitarists, and then uh, Andy Nosebone, if you heard of that. Yeah. Obviously, Ken uh, was playing with them, and when they disband, or uh, we knew he was, uh, I called him a free agent, so he started playing guitar for us, and then once he said, you know what, I'm just going to go play bass. And that's I had a good rate. Well, I played we Andy Nosebone myself with Ken, so it was easy for him to come. Play. And once we had the four locked down, it was like, hey, no more. That's it. You know, nice. We're all good friends. No more. You know, arguments, no headaches. We just do what we do. So, and, and looking towards the the next album, the next release, you guys, since you are a, a tight unit, do you write together? Or? Yeah, we write together on a weekly. We try to get together at least once a week, if not twice a week. And right now, we're in full writing mode. We got a few shows coming in September, but right now, it's just it's enjoy the summer. We like to get out and fish, and you know, do everything that normal people do. And you know, music is kind of second on the list, but we're pretty productive though when we write. Like we can get in there for an hour and actually have something done by the end of that hour. So it's we, and when you get along yeah. well too, it's just easier that way. I'd I'd say come fall, early winter, we'll have another release or two coming up. So again, we don't know if there'll be a full CD, but nice. You know, this album End of Creation was really just a, I call it a resume of everything we've done from 2005. You can almost hear the transition of of how it's grown since say slow dissolve the last song to the to end of creation now the first song so and breathing room was another one that got a lot of rotation and uh with other radio stations in the u.s and nice and stuff so and you guys are hockey fans we were noticing on the uh, power 97.supernova.com just the jets logo you didn't even put your name up there for the one picture i use the jets logo all the time ever since the, like the initial announcement that we might be getting them back like what a year or two ago whenever they started talking so I just like to throw it out there and, you know, any kind of little contest. I just want to know the name. I want a jersey. My first show, I want to wear a jersey that I can do our favorite. In September, we know the name and I can wear a jersey on stage. I'll do it. Yeah. Well, the, it just seems like everyone's so thirsty and they want news. They want news and little trickles come every day. So the rumor is that tomorrow there's going to be a press conference and a name's going to be announced. But that's... Probably and everybody's not heard happen. somebody knows so-and-so well, exactly. who knows somebody who's Bottom got the name. Is, it's just, it's great for Winnipeg. Like, 
you know, they've said this on the radio, Winnipeg is a great place to be in right now, whether it be sports, musician, the arts or whatever. Like we're, we are, uh, <laughs> we're a very lucky city and we got a great city and this just boosts it up even more. Like everybody mm-hmm. seems to be happy in this city now. So it's like, it's awesome. And downtown should be pretty good. And then oh, definitely. It, the uh, bomber season tickets are selling well. And then we'll have a new stadium next year. I think the bombers are on the rise. New airport. airport. So people come in and that's the first thing they see is a great new airport. So, But yeah, it's a good thing. Winnipeg's, like, I think, on the map right now. So better, no better time for anybody, even musicians, to be you know centered yeah. mm-hmm. to get some some of the limelight. It's all good. The new Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> and we got game seven tonight. You guys going, you, what, what do you say? Uh, I, can't, I can't jump the bandwagon. I'm, no. I'd like to see the Cups stay in Canada for sure, but I'm not a Vancouver fan by any means. But... They know. I got, I'm hoping they start Schneider. Yeah, I won't. <laughs> I won't. I, I'd have to put my money on uh, on Vancouver just because they're at home. Otherwise, it'd be mm. Boston giving them another beating. I think. No, definitely. You mentioned you have a couple shows in September. You just kind of doing some writing for the uh, summer and. W- uh, yeah, we've got uh, show lined up September second with Dreadnought and Ninja Spy at the zoo. Should be a really good show. Big band. Uh, I don't know if Ninja Spy from Vancouver, and then we're also hooking up all ages with Ninja Spy uh, September 29th at the Park Theater. But usually summertime, something does pop up um, that they have that we usually get on and stuff like that. There's some stuff that we're waiting to hear about, too. Hopefully, maybe. Yeah, there's others. I, we can't really speak of it too much right now, but there's things on the rise through the label out of uh, San Diego and stuff. So there, nice. we could be yeah. heading south of the border for a piece of the pie, hopefully. Okay. <laughs> this well, summer you, would be nice. Keep us uh, up to date on that, and we'll get the word out on our website and then the power97.supernova.com. Uh, the the tune, End of Creation, any, any story behind that, since that's what people are going to be listening to all summer? Uh, not really. I guess it sort of came from, I, I tend to write a lot of more emotional type of stuff and I, I kind of play on people's fears sometimes when, you know, the whole world ending has kind of been a thing for people in 2012 and all that, but not really. To me, it's the, the end of, our, I guess, this era of our writing in a sense, like it's the end of our, we are now what we are. This is the band. This is our piece. And at this point, I like to say that that's what it was and we'll just move forward from you here. You never write anything negative in it. All of your stuff has something no, that's positive. Really we don't. He's not a. It's not, it's more just for you know your enjoyment to listen to and to take it for what it is. You know, for me, it's the end of a chapter. Maybe we'll call it Dawn of an Era, the next album. <laughs> <laughs> so for uh, online, you guys on uh, MySpace, Facebook, Twitter, yeah, where can MySpace, we find you? Uh, Twitter in Trans Band, uh, MySpace in Transformation.ca, Facebook slash in Transformation. We have a Twitter thing. I didn't know that. Vids. <laughs> I don't really use it yet. I'm not a tweeter. They but, always leave uh, the drummer out for everything. <laughs> we just sit in the back so they figure we don't got to let you know about your Twitter account. Yeah, we kind of took a, a, a long, I don't know, we didn't really get into that too soon. I'm not a big texter guy but maybe it's we should be probably <laughs> it's yeah it, it took me a while to get into it as well but if you're you know in broadcasting or if you're in music yeah. it's probably a good idea to keep yeah. in touch with the fans that way so, definitely yep that's you can find us everywhere just in, i think in transformation you'll take you right to the top if you google it so well so guys congratulations again we usually have a like a showcase concert at the end of summer so something for like friends and family we'll invite some industry people and awesome. at that point then we'll hand over all the the gift certificate and the membership that's and excellent. your promo package so in awesome. transformation part of the river city rocks class of 2011 thanks so much thanks no again problem. thank you casey all the interviews you want on itunes and at power 97.com casey's audio vault casey norman is power 97's music director and can be heard every weekday from two till six in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Power 97 is Winnipeg's best rock.